Well, hello, wine lovers. Panos Kakviaros uh, about restaurants in Alsace. I'm, I've got a feature coming out in, in Decanter. Uh, one is online with a list of restaurants. Another one is a broader travel piece. Um, but there's one restaurant I want to talk to you about specifically. It's the Beur Isel. Um, founder Antoine Westermann reached three stars in the Michelin Guide. And when his son took over, Eric, he didn't want any stars. But he got one nevertheless. Uh, and it's a really special restaurant. And the reason why I'm pointing out Bur Isel, uh, the origin means a small house for peasants, <laughs> but it's not at all that. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous, is because Michelin removed the star in its re most recent guide, which not only did I find crazy, but other people I know who are professionals. I know a former Michelin Guide writer who told me it's ridiculous that Michelin has lost contact with reality. And another restaurateur who has no business with the restaurant told me, uh, point blank, it's absurd. So anyway, I think that um, if you hear about Burisol, which is a very, very beautiful restaurant in the Orangerie, it's a park in Strasbourg, and you hear, oh my gosh, they lost a star, forget it. Just go there because it's so good. Um, their famous claim to fame is their frog's legs recipe that Antoine uh, came up with. Um, it's, it's a delicious uh, uh, sauce that he uses and uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the cliche is this frog's legs taste like chicken, but no, um, here we have a, a sauce that makes it zing, comes alive, kind of like snails, you know, you need the garlic and the butter. <laughs> so I really like that, but everything they do is really good from produce that's local. For example, uh, the pigeon that I had there was from a, a pigeonnier, a local guy who raises and, and slaughters pigeons <laughs> and you know pr provides them to restaurants of quality. Uh, they have about a thousand different wines on their list. You know, the sommelier is great, always coming up with good ideas. You can have a, if you're a wine guy like me, you can have good exchanges with them. But the, really one of the most amazing things I had was a beer dessert. I mean, I kid you not. It was beer ice cream uh, with a pain perdu, kind of like a French toast, but soaked in like beer. And it was just absolutely delicious with a poached pear um, served with a local craft brew. So... Um, Beur Isel is one of the best places to go and you can get a pretty good deal for lunch. I mean, you could pay about 60 euros uh, for lunch and, you know, it is an upscale restaurant, so you're going to pay money for it. But I tell you, go to Beur Isel next time you're in Strasbourg. Cheers.